What is up YouTube? Today we are looking at a pair of sneakers that I got gifted. Ooh, I didn't really get gifted them. I got exclusive access. So I got <laughs> I got gifted the right to pay for my sneakers, which is an interesting concept when you think about it. So yes, on my phone, as I randomly am, as I was dashing for university and this popped up and I was like, hey, didn't really have much chance to look at it. I just clicked through because the time was going down and I started to stress, I like click, click, click and got it and they have arrived. So today we are looking at those sneakers. What sneakers I'm talking about? I'm talking about the Pharrell Williams NMD Hughes in the core black halo blue color. Let's get into it. What is <coughs> what is up, people? It is your boy, it's your dog, it's your brother from another mother, aka the lifestyle surgeon, aka Dr. Vassell, aka Wayne. I've got to say, if you're an OG and you're coming by again to show your boy love, I'm sending that love back. Thank you for your support. And if you're a newbie, a hey, I've got to say, welcome, welcome, welcome to Crep Check, where we check out everything crep related. And today is just no different. Today we are looking at as I said, a pair of sneakers that I got given the opportunity via exclusive access to purchase. What I got was the Hue NMD in the core black halo blue colorway. As you know, I like to do a crep check. I like to start the box. And before I dive into the box and we talk about the aesthetics of it, let's talk about pricing and sizing. So the price for these that I got offered to be able to pay was £180 in the UK, which I believe will be around about $200 in the US. The sizing for this is true to size. If you've ever had a pair of NMDs, I tend to always go true to size and they fit very nicely. Let's get into the box. So when we look at the box, you will notice that the box has the Hue logo on the top and the Pharrell Williams and Adidas logos on the lid. The box itself is kind of a creamy color. And other than that, there isn't much more to say. The tag itself, just really says the size Hue NMD and gives the product code GX3066. But it is my size, a UK 11. With all those formalities out the way, let's pop the hood. And when we pop the hood, we are greeted with this wrapping paper that is white, that's semi-transparent and has the gold Adidas logos on them. When we drop that bad boy, we are greeted with these. Crep check clan, let me know what you guys think. Are these skippy? Should you be skipping past them? Should I have not taken up the exclusive access that I got? Or are these drippy? Let me know in the comment section. What are my first impressions? My first impressions are actually, I think they look better in person than they did on the images. I was a bit 50-50, I'm not gonna lie, when I took it in, I thought in particular, this, I'm gonna call it a leopard, I didn't know how well that would actually come out. And it actually comes out pretty well. So I'm gonna say, this is a grower for me. So when we look at the outsole, the outsole is this kind of lovely skyey blue with the perforations, you see the boost technology that's going to be under your feet. And if you had boost under your feet, you will know they're very, very comfortable. 
when we come to the lateral aspect of the sneaker, you can see the great proportions of boost technology that's going to be underneath your feet with the outsole, that kind of hint of sky blue that really sits very nicely against the white boost. Then while we're in the midsole, we notice we have this detailing which gives rise to the shoelace inlets. It's that, again, that babyish sky blue that sits really, really lovely against the white. And coming round anteriorly, we notice that the other attachment is this cream color, which again, sits quite beautifully against the white of the midsole and the sky blue of the upper. Continuing up onto the upper itself, it is a knitted upper and the upper does feel quite, quite good. It feels like it's really, really good quality actually. And I would expect it should be for the price of 180 pounds. When we come round to the anterior aspect now, you notice that we have the sky blue outsole that becomes the toe tip, which breaks off the midsole, the boost technology, and comes to the upper. And then the upper itself, you notice if you look, is knitted and it has, as we continue up, that third-like detail on it, the leopard, I'm going to call it, that does feel actually quite nice. The images I felt made it look a little bit tacky. Am I going to say such a strong word? Actually, in person, I feel like it does look a lot, lot better. And I do really like the feel. I just want to stroke these all the time. It's like someone's got felt and they've, <laughs> they've stuck them to the sneaker. And as you can see, as I brought the other one together, you can see that they both make a pattern. And I like that detail. The fact that both sneakers come together to give you the full image. Then as we continue up, we hit the shoelaces and the shoelaces are a combination of some of the colors of the upper. So they have the majority of it is the blue, but you may be able to see the faint hits of cream that is kind of woven into it, which actually is nice. They have come with an extra pair of pink laces, which um, I guess they're using to match the insole of the sneaker, if you notice that is pink. I don't know how good it will go against the upper. I'll try and see, but I think without any hits of pink on the upper, it might just look a bit weird, dare I say it. And when we come to the ankle inlet, we can't feel a tremendous amount of padding in the ankle inlet. It's got the white stitching detail around the ankle inlet. And we come to the inside, which is black of the upper and then the pink insole, as you can see. When we come around to the medial aspect of the sneaker, you can see it's pretty similar to the lateral aspect. So I'm not going to spend a tremendous amount of time on that. Coming around to the posterior aspect of the sneaker, you will see basically all of the colors that make up the sneaker. We have the, get both of them so you can see, put them in the right places. We have the sky blue outsole, the white midsole, the boost midsole, and then we come into the upper, and then we hit the back portion of the ankle in there. And I like the detail on those. We have the Adidas, if I'm correct, and the ice cream there. And I, just, I really do like this shade of blue. I think this shade of blue is really, really nice. So what are my final impressions? My final impressions are that these sneakers are actually much better in person. These will go into my rotation. I'll wear them and I will enjoy wearing them. They come together to give you the full picture. I think, yeah, the colors, the blend, it's boost, it's comfy. It feels exclusive. I'll keep them. People, if you've enjoyed this video, do your boy a solid and drop me a like because your likes help me to continue to grow this channel and bring you this content. And in addition, while you're there, why not just slide over to the subscribe and click that subscribe button so you don't miss future crep check content. I'm the Lifestyle Surgeon sending you the same love back out that you've sent me. It's been a wave. Love.